guys, what's up? It's me again, Unstoppable HD here, bringing y'all out of the video, guys. And today in this video, I am so excited to bring y'all my first Black Ops 3 official release multiplayer gameplay. This is a 60 plus with the ICR assault rifle unlocked at like 20 something or 30 something, give or take, and it's something worth using. In this gameplay, as you can see on screen right now, I use the ICR with the red dot quick draw grip, and I believe that is high caliber if I'm correct right there, it's something like with the barrel. I had the MR6 pistol, and at that time, I was rocking flak jacket, fast hands, and awareness. Now, if you want to know, I walk blast suppressor, as blast suppressor keeps that little whenever you thrust jump or anything like that off the mini-map, so the enemies can't see you, because that's very important to me. Also, I use ghost right now, because a lot of UAVs are being spammed, so if I have ghost unlocked, not many other people do, I'm gonna, they're not going to be able to see me, but I'm going to be able to see them, so that's really nice. I'm also really excited that in this game, they actually made pistols viable for a change. In the other Call of Duty, such as Ghost and Advanced Warfare, the pistols weren't something that you could just switch to and be like, okay, I'm going to use a pistol for a game and try to do well with. Unless you had some skill. I mean, it didn't take a lot, a lot, but it, had, it took some skill. Not say pistols in this game don't take skill, however, they just don't take as much if that makes any sense. They're actually good, and I really like that. You'll see in this gameplay that I run out of ammo tons of times with my ICR, and I have to switch my pistol, and I just go ham. In fact, I think I even go even more ham with my pistol than I did with my ICR in some cases. With that said, I'm going to move on. So in this gameplay, we're playing on Nuketown. I have a ton of Nuketown gameplays, guys, so if you do want to see them, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. So as I just said, I have been playing Nuketown a lot. That's because of one, the map is just fun overall. I mean, the map looks amazing. They did an amazing job with the map, in my opinion. I love the way the colors are. It looks so vibrant. The saturation is amazing. It just looks great overall. It plays well, just like any other Nuketown. You know, you have those people who can rush in it. You have those people who like to camp a little bit. You have those people who can do just anything. This is an all-around amazing map. I also play it a lot because one, it switches from game mode to game mode, and if you play like Mosh Pit, not many people are on there, so the likelihood of me finding a game fast is pretty low. And this, I can play on this map. I really like it a lot. You know, I get to play it a lot before the game actually takes off the new town only playlist. I get to play a variety of game modes, such as this one, Safeguard. In case you're wondering, in this gameplay, I do get a little bit campy, guys, and that's because my strategy in this gameplay was basically to camp in the windows at time to time. Like, if we start in the game off, I'm gonna go to the window to let our, you know, our or I don't even know what he's called, our unit, move up, and I'm going to kill the enemies around him, and then I'm going to move up with him to the cars, and then that's the way it's going to work, and vice versa. So if it does get a little bit stale at some part, I'm sorry. I did edit out those parts, and I did kind of fade them in, so you'll see that happening here and there. Um, they're not that long, though, so just saying I did. I wasn't capping, like, that long. Okay, guys, I just want to put that out there real quickly. So anyway, back to the map. As I was saying, I've been playing this because I got to play all the game modes and whatnot, and it's really awesome. I am exactly five levels away from actually prestiging guys, and I'm one camo away from getting diamond on my sniper. So that video is probably gonna go up today as well. So make sure you leave a like and let me know in the comment section below and subscribe guys for more Black Ops 3 gameplay and videos in general. So basically, just some background information on the game mode in case you haven't seen any gameplay of it or you don't know what it is. Basically, there's a little unit as you can see that little um, red dot over there kind of thing. I think that's actually our unit if I can if I'm correct. Yeah, that's our unit, guys. And basically, one team's objective is to stay around that unit. In my case, I was defending it from the windows, and my teammates would push up with it. And you're supposed to get to the other team's little capture point thing. The other team's supposed to you know stop you from doing that, and vice versa if you switch. So as you can see, the really fast-paced parts where I get a ton of kills are actually when the unit's right in front of me, right in front of the window uh, yellow house, I believe this one is, if I'm correct. Basically, the house closest to the head glitch car, the one on the left side, depending on which way you're looking, I guess. And that's because everybody, those people are trying to get that unit to our spawn, and I'm stopping them. That's my goal here. That's why I was camping a lot in this video. Um, I promise you in the other gameplays, I freaking rushed with the snipers hardcore, and I destroyed people. This game is a lot of fun, guys. I promise you, at first, I know if you play the game, if maybe if you're really good or if you just have that luck, you know, you won't have this happen to you. But it happened to me where you're just going to suck and you're going to hate the game and you're going to rage a lot and you're like, this is the worst game ever. I promise, guys, just keep playing and playing and playing and eventually you'll start, you know, getting the vibe of how the game works and feels and you'll be like, oh, this is actually a really good game. Just promise you guys, just give it a chance. It's an awesome game. I really like the game. I promise you, you'll enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy multiplayer, hey guys, there's always zombies. Zombies, I haven't played it yet because I'm going to do my live reactions, but 
Zombies is looks amazing. It looks absolutely just incredible. I just I can't say anything else about it. Just you gotta play it. But yeah, enough rambling here, guys. If you want to know the ending score, it will be at the ending of the video. But in case you can't see it, I did go 62 and 13, I think. I don't know. It's one of my worst gameplays, kind of, compared to the other ones I have. Um, I just wanted to upload this one first because it was with the ICR. The ICR is, like, basically the new M27 of Black Ops 3 from Black Ops 2. Or, as other people say, the ACR, which I hate because the gun looks nothing like an ACR. Sure, it might perform slightly like one, but in reality, there hasn't been an ACR in a very long time, so I wouldn't compare it to that ever. I'm just going to compare it to the latest model, either the Remington from Ghost or the, you know, M27 from Black Ops 2. But yeah, guys, the gameplay is coming to the end here. If you want to know the specialist I'm using, in case you don't know, I was using the Outrider with Vision Pulse. The game, I really like the specialist in this game. They add a little unique twist to the gameplay, so everybody has that little unique edge that they can just have. The Vision Pulse lets me see through walls, and that's very useful. It actually saved me in a lot of cases. So, yeah, anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and leave a comment telling me if you do want to see more Black Ops 3 gameplay. Also, share the video with your friends if you haven't already, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And as always, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.